I don't necessarily focus on that. I think um, when I when I look at Miami, to to me, it's you know they used to talk about a melting pot, and we're all this melting pot. And I I see it. You know that was back in the 70s and 80s. I see Miami now more as a mosaic. In other words, every little every piece is it's individual, but it's all creating this this big kind of interesting picture. And so when I program, I have to tell you honestly, I don't program, oh, I'm going to do something Hispanic, the company loves, the, the community loves, or I'm going to do something, um, you know, full length, the community is going to love it, or I'm going to do something Brazilian. I, I just feel that good art is good art, and they're going to come. And you, uh, you know, I can look at a Picasso and relate to a Picasso, not because I'm Hispanic or French, um, but because he happens to be a great artist. And the same thing with Beethoven or Mozart or um, Tchaikovsky. So that's how I view dance, that it has the capability really of speaking to, to everybody. Um, you know, when I, when I programmed three years ago, Carmen, everybody said, oh, you know, you're programming for the, for the community. I said, no, 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 I'm programming because a choreographer, Richard Alston, is someone who I really admire and whose work I want and out of all the pieces that were available I thought well I can you know I do have the dancers I can actually pull it off because it's in their DNA um, so that's how I think about Miami City Ballet and it makes sense to have I for me it makes sense to have that philosophy because we are in a city that's so uh, multicultural